Hey guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to solve a cube. So what you so usually you should be able to get your first face or at least the first three corners on your first face pretty intuitively. Sometimes it can get a bit hard. There we go. Until you get to your last so when you get to your last corner, you might have this and you can't set it because it gets it to that. Okay. We'll use that. Because it it's the same thing. So when you so when you have this, what you want to do is as an algorithm it's R prime F R. I'll teach you notation in a bit, but first it's just learn R prime. Well just learn these moves. And you can also echo them on the left, so. And sometimes, I did this on purpose, you can solve your first layout incorrectly. You can see here that it's got the, these two need to be swapped, or these two need to be swapped. So when you've got that, you just take one of your corners out. Then, this is how I do it anyway. Then you insert it, like that, with the method that it showed you. And then you insert this one. Like and this is really bad for tutorial because I just got an OLL skip. But I'll just. Yeah, so. Okay, I reckon this is pretty good. So there's two possible cases you can have. You can have this case, we've got two corners oriented, and they need to do these two corners. When you have that, you just hold it like this, and now I'll teach you notation. So this is a simple notation that you can learn. By the way, this is Sarah's method. R face, L face, F face. So you can see it's rotating around the F corner, the front corner. And you can see here it's rotating around the right corner. Here it's rotating around the left corner. So what you do here is you, when you have this case with two oriented and two like this, which I call the rocket because it's like yeah, you do R prime F R F prime which is a third channel and now that you've done that what you're gonna have is you're gonna have no corners oriented at the top you can see there's no yellow here and what you do is you hold it so that you've got you won't necessarily have the center here you've got these two corners here just one second. How's that for less confusing? So you've got these two corners here, like this. Then you've got this here on the left. And then you, what you do that is again, you do that sledgehammer. And that's what I call the non-rocket case. Now, you solve this onto here. So what you do is, this needs to go up here, so you hold this at the back. Now you do R prime, F, R, F prime sledgehammer, then do a Y2, which is where you rotate like that, and now do another sledgehammer R prime F R F prime, and now you've got the yellow face on the top, which is good. And then you rotate it like this, and you just want to solve these corners. So I've got one of the hardest cases. Usually you can get a U perm, an H perm, or a Z perm, which is what I have here, which is just reflecting their edges cycles on 3 by 3 so here I have a Z perm and if you have a Z perm or a H perm what you do is you just do that same edge algorithm R prime F R F prime Y2 R prime F R F prime and then once you get your U perm you hold your one with an opposite colour here so see how this blue is opposite to this green or you can also recognise it just by this needs to go up here it's the same thing really, but I, I find it easier with the opposite thing. Then you do your same algorithm, R prime, F, R, F prime. Then you do a Y2, R prime, F, R, F prime. And now I'm just going to sum up, and congratulations, you just solved your cube. 
and now I'm just going to sum up so insert your corners and then your algorithm like this which you're going to and then you've got this and when you have it like this you do r prime f r f prime here and when you have this case here you hold it back here so you've got this on the left this one here r prime f r f prime and now you hold your unsolved center at the back and that you need to bring up here your yellow one and now you've got your now you've got your yellow And again, so you hold the opposite center on the front. And when you're a beginner, like I did, you may want to start off just scooping, scooping on the table a bit like this. Then when you get more advanced, like 10 seconds or something, like 10, 20 seconds, you, you really want to be doing it in the air. Take 31. So, thanks for watching this video, guys, and I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm serious, it is take 31, and I bet this audio is really bad, so I'm probably going to have to go on to take 32. But anyway, thanks for watching this cubing video, and I just really did it because I didn't have much else to do. And stay tuned for another cubing video every two days. And yeah, don't forget to practice, and as always, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I said it in the wrong order. Goodbye! Ending with an epic fail, and starting with an epic fail. That's the motto of my channel. Goodbye.